What's up guys, today we've got some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay. That's right baby, I'm excited. This is an awesome mission and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So first of all, big shout out to Ubisoft. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, for inviting me to the capture event to be able to record and share gameplay with you all. It's, it's awesome. I'm genuinely really excited for this game. I know a lot of you guys are too. So huge shout out to them. If you guys want more info, you want to get your pre-order in, anything like that, be sure to check out that top link down in the description. So I'm sure most of you guys know, but Assassin's Creed Valhalla is an open world game that takes place in the dark ages of 9th century England. You're leading a band of Vikings coming over from Norway trying to find your spot in this new land. There are a bunch of broken kingdoms all over England that were already warring with each other and now they're going to end up going to war with you. So there's tons of battling, tons of crazy locations even travel to mythical worlds and the Americas in, in some segments of the game. Now, we aren't going to see that today, but it, it's just, it, it's, it's a massive game with tons of cool settings. Now, obviously, coming over from Norway, you're kind of starting with nothing, and you've got to slowly but surely build up your power and the, the land underneath your rule. You've got to forge alliances, you've got to upgrade your settlements, you've got to do all kinds of stuff, a lot of which you guys are going to see in this video today. So the mission we're about to do is pretty intense. It's going to start off with an assault on a king's fortress. The assaults are these massive, just spectacular battles where you have different choices of, do you want to be on the ram? Do you want to be taking people out from a distance? Do you want to be down the ground fighting? How do you want to do it. So we're going to start with that. You guys are going to see tons of just insane combat. The combat is so rewarding and just so just gnarly. Like I, I don't even know how to how to describe it. It's insanity. So you guys are going to see that. Of course, we're also going to have some stealth gameplay. It is an Assassin's Creed game after all. And uh, it's just, it's, it's cool to see how many various ways you have to approach different objectives and challenges and stuff like that. Even the enemies, dude. Like there's so many different types of enemies. You're going to see some pretty crazy ones in this gameplay. I think this has the most varied set of enemies of any Assassin's Creed game ever. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let's just go ahead and get into it. Do keep in mind this is an early access, you know, early work in progress build. They're still, you know, a month out from the release date, which by the way is November 10th. So just keep that in mind as you're watching it and uh, let's hop into it. All right, guys, so we're going to be kicking things off here, and we're going to be checking out the main missions that we have available. So this is called the Alliance Map. Sigurd has gone north, choosing Eivor as his replacement. It is now on Eivor to expand the settlement and make alliances with its surrounding territories. So uh, obviously the, the settlement is it's, it's kind of like a growing, constantly evolving, improving type Eivor. thing. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. Okay. I want to see the Alliance map. All right. So if you want your settlement to thrive in England, you must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed, the allies are made. Other territories will be made available. Interesting. So we could, uh... I mean, do we want to do Leicestershire here? Tell me more about Leicestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He I traveled I did a to good a job pronouncing Repton that. To meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current king of Mercia, with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help however I can. I think you should. All right. I will pledge to let it Chestershire. Territory's been pledged. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. This is just so cool, dude. Because, I mean, I, obviously, we're, we're not at the, the very beginning of the game here. I think we might be towards the beginning. I think, I think this might take place, like, a few hours into it. But, uh, I mean, you can see this is, this is kind of like the start of what we're building here with our settlement and as time grows and as we make these alliances and add people and stuff like that it's going to be awesome because you're going to see the settlement grow it's almost like the settlement's kind of a, a character in and of itself you know what i mean and obviously as you upgrade it and upgrade the buildings you're going to get better you know rewards and and all kinds of stuff back from it we're going to take command of our ship here we've got our motley ragtag crew we're going to be riding out with and uh, we are going to head off to our objective Pause, we raiding this mother sucker. Let's go. Y'all better take some notes because we're about to slit some throats, baby. Let's get after it. What's up? I saw this nice little humble abode and I decided I wanted it to be mine. Oh. 
Hey, big boy. A Goliath. This is the, the mountain, bro. He is huge. Is he? Oh, he threw rock at me. Homeboy's throwing rocks. I just set him on fire. Got him. Nope, just kidding. Didn't get him. He ducked right at the last minute. There we got him. Beautiful work. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, the combat in this is just so ridiculous. I'm gonna loot this dude. There's, there's gotta be something good on that dude, right? Minor rune of protection and armor rune. So we, uh, I mean, we, we now, we now own this spot, right? This, this is now ours. That, that was awesome. Some raids are smaller like that one, but some are massive. And you get to, you know, take on a castle and, and raid the castle and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. We're almost to our objective. It's time to get back in the boat. That's so sick, dude. This other way to our objective decided I didn't like the look of those guys and wanted some of their stuff, so we took it and now we're now we're back on the way. What's happening here? Who stands before Ivar Ragnarsson? Are you Sigurd Drenger? Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, we'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like Sending spies! <laughs> and now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Sounds like a fun Saturday night. Hey! You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the Mercian fields. I would have let him down easy. Huh. Follow me. I'll give you the tour. I kind of like this guy, in a psychotic way. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Reptar. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you talk shit. I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. <laughs> now fuck off. Bro, I, he's, he's a G. I like him. Hacking over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. This is one of them. My worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. You have come at just the right time. Uba and Eivor here are hunting a king. And when we've caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. Mm. It sounds like you'll be a king in name only, a puppet. I am doing my part. I hope you have come to do yours. We're going to need all the help we can get for what comes next. Let's do it. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. 
There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats outnumber us. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrit? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's axe that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. <laughs> Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has, or ever will, occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Well... Who's gonna stop the us? The Ragnar sons are the least of your worries, Burkrit. The Raven clan now sits upon your southern border. Oh, I've heard tales of the Raven clan. I see their leader Sigurd among you. Hey! <laughs> and you are Eivor. The one who helped the Danes in Grantebridgeshire destroyed poor Wigmund. Then you see why you should choose your next words very carefully. For here stand four of us who wield such power. My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues. No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost. We're good with that too. No big deal. If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse. Man the walls! I'm gonna hop on this ram and we, we gotta... Charge! Nice. And we're gonna back it up. Drop back, drop back, drop back. Charge! Another good one. Drop back. Wait for it. Give us enough space. Charge! Ah! This thing is not wanting to give up. She's hanging on by a thread though. There it is. Alright. Gonna lead the fight in here and start start going to work. So yeah, we got and we gotta worry about continuing on up into the thing, but we could also help fight to thin the ranks and stuff. I think we might want to focus on our main our main mission though. Here we go. I got y'all. That's one. That's two. Alright. Let me let me hop on this. Let me hop on this real quick. Charge! So you could, I mean, you could, you know, do some of the, the smaller time fighting, or you can be on the rams, or you could be, you know, lighting stuff on fire. There's so many different things you can do. So I'm going to get off again. We're going to lead the way through. We're going to come in and come in hot. He's down. We do have some abilities here. Talk to me about those 30-yard tosses. Woo. So now we got to get through this next gate. So I'm going to... Gonna try to try to take down some of the archers here. Try to take down some of the oh, ooh, that was sick. Take down some of the archers, and then what we can do is hop back on this, get out of the way, and I'll I'll help run this. There's only two of us on this thing. Come on, we need we need some people. Oh, yes, there it is. So it says we were to take down two of his elites, which it looks like are going to be up above us. I'm going to see... I'm going to collect some raspberries here. 
Seems like a pretty good idea. Might need some of those to help us reheal as we keep on going, but we're gonna make our way up. And we're gonna we're gonna focus the the big dogs that we gotta take out. I might try to hit him. Might try to hit him from a distance first. Ooh. Ooh. Dude, look at his dodging skills! Ah! That's one elite down. We got one more over here. A couple of big hits there. That's how we do it! So we took over his fortress, but unfortunately the king had slipped out the back while we were fighting and escaped. So obviously, you know, you can't have that transfer of power without either capturing him or killing him. So we had to track him down. We looked through his stuff. We found some letters with a neighboring settlement that was an ally of his. So we went and talked to her. Her name was Tona and she was down to give anything for a little bit of coin. So we paid her off and she told us where he could be hiding. There were one of two places. The first of which is Templeborough, which actually ended up housing his wife. You three, scurry. Lady Avelsworth, I see Burgret has done his best to hide you away. But what is lost must always be found. So we've captured his wife, but that still didn't force him out of hiding. We went to the second area we thought he could be, which is over in Lettichester, and we had to sneak around. We found some various traces and shipping logs and overheard some conversations with his soldiers and stuff, and we figured out that he was hiding underground in like this random crypt really far south. So he, he truly tucked his tail between his legs. He ran away and he's hiding while his kingdom is going up in flames and his wife and family have been captured and stuff like that. So the guy is not very brave, that's for sure, but we knew exactly where he was and it was time to go get him. Door has been barred from the other side. I bet, I bet that giant church that we saw I bet that's going to be a way in. Let me eat this food real quick. Might need that later. Get a little bit of health back. I bet we're going to have to go into the church. Yeah, our objective's in the church here. So we're going to have to find an alternative means of entry here. Going to try to do it stealthily without raising the alarm. Gonna stick to the rooftops here. See if we can sneak in. So we've got two guards out front. Would there happen to be a side entrance here? I don't know that there is. Oh, the one guard moved. Okay. So we could just Shoot. A single attack is not gonna kill him fully. I think we could we could follow it up with another quick one though. Got him! Gotta go! Gotta go, gotta go! He's got some sort of a secret thing back here. He was trying to hide the hole in the wall. Can I move this? Hello, beautiful. I've got a body here. I mean, no Burgrid, but we found a chest. Dude, this, I mean, going down into all the old crypts and stuff, this is, I mean, it's a little bit terrifying, but it's, it's pretty awesome at the same time. Okay, so we gotta keep going here. Let's take a look. I'm assuming we just want to keep going deeper and deeper into this thing. And again, we want to try not to alert the guards if we can help it. That way goes up. I would imagine we'd... Uh... Shoot. We're fine. Got him. I saw the chest over here. Anything that glows gold is, is useful. I think we can break this and go in here. Anything that, that glows gold is, is obviously useful and valuable. 
so I wasn't sure if it was going to be something to loot or if it was going to be our king. I don't, I don't think that's it, though. I think we want to keep going down. So we're going to go back out here. I mean, we can take all their food and everything. Why not? But I'm pretty sure we would have keep going down into the depths of this thing. I must be getting close. I hope you're right. I'm gonna take some more food. Is that him? Stomach's grumbling. Got him! That got us the key, so we're going to be able to unlock this door, and it looks like we found him. No, 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 it can't be. Stay back. <laughs> you don't want to do that, sir. That's a bread knife, my lord. Do you mean to butter me? <laughs> Stay back. Back, I say. I'll fight you. If you insist. Oh, we actually are. You'll have to we are going to fight him. Luckily for you, it won't come to that. This kingdom is mine. Mine. But we aren't actually fighting him here. We're we're just we, we gotta use light attacks and stuff. We we can't kill him, obviously. Time to go, my lord. We're late for the crowning ceremony. <laughs> so now what we can do is we can just kind of waltz out of here. This doorway over here leads straight up to the original spot that we walked into. There's a steed here. We can place him on the back of that. And where are we going? Do we want to put him in the ship? We could probably ride on horseback. I think it's going to be our best our best bet. I thought about going and grabbing the long ship, but we're going to be fine. And just like that, our mission was done, baby. We went back to Tamworth, celebrated a little bit too hard with Ivar, nearly missed the crowning ceremony because we were a little bit hungover, but uh, everything went well. We transferred the power. We put our puppet king in place. The old king and his wife were allowed to go and live and be free and just, you know, get get out of there. Don't, don't cause any more problems. And uh, it was a job well done. We had a new ally and a new kind of, you know, area of the world was now ours. Leicestershire was now ours. So there you guys have it. Just kind of a, a little preview of, of what it's going to be like. You know what I mean? Like you, you're really going to have to, to work on these relationships and build these alliances and slowly but surely build out your, your kingdom as you play this game and uh, I can't wait to take on more of it so hope you guys enjoyed this video again huge shout out to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video thank you so much to them if you guys want to check out that top link down in the description be sure to do so go click it right now I do want to say I played for a little bit longer after I finished up this main mission and I did some of the side missions and even like one of the little mini games and things like that so if you guys want to see a second video on that I can probably put that together for you all so let me know what you guys think Thank you guys again for watching. I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.